is here, y'all. It's here. Hey y'all and welcome back. I'm sorry I done knocked the heck out of my tripod. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is April Newly Me. I am a housewife located in Los Angeles. If you are one of my YouTube besties, hey bestie. Also, if you are new here, I'm going to be sharing a black owned subscription service box that caters to black women. That was a lot to say, but I always get my boxes at the end of the month and so we're always like a month behind on this channel. I'm currently filming in April. The box I'm sharing with you is from March. They also had a supply chain problem at this company so they emailed us about it so it's a little bit late but that's how we roll on this channel. Don't worry about it being late like it was last month's box. It don't matter. Okay? Chill out. Let's go ahead and jump into the box. And yeah, that's my ring light. We're getting into the box. It's a little heavier than it normally is, which means more treats. So just to get into the box, like I said, it's a black owned subscription box catering to black women, which I love. They also have a, a young, a teenage box for uh, teenage girls. And I saw occasionally they have something for males. So you know, a little bit for everyone. So this notice is literally one of the reasons why I mess with Lizzie and Liv so much because the customer service is impeccable. So basically it's a notice that they sent. They also emailed, you know, going into, like I said in the beginning of the video, that there was a supply chain problem. So the letter goes in to say that a Lux a belted satin robe was supposed to be included in this month's box. They plan and purchase the things from the box four to six months in advance and they were still waiting on this company for the robe. So unfortunately it's not in this box, but they're letting us know that it will be in the next month's box, which is April. And they also are going to include a free mystery bonus item just to say sorry. I love this. When companies mess up, and it's not even that they're messed up, but let's say a company messed up. I appreciate when they are honest and transparent. Like, this is what happened. I apologize. This is how I'm going to fix it. A lot of companies do not do that, okay? Um, again, this was not their issue. It's a supply chain problem that's happening everywhere. But I so appreciate that they let me know what's going on. And as I said, I got like two emails saying something and similar so love that so let's go ahead and get into oh i love this cover the jet magazine i always call it the jet magazine because of its shape y'all remember jet i love jet even as a little girl like i love jet looking at the jet beauty of the month all that but this is um something that if you do get the subscription box this is the first thing you should go to it's going to explain in detail every item that's in the box and it's also going to gonna give you sorry the retailed value of said item. I always skip that page because I like to pull the items out of the box and be surprised right along with you. They always have great articles. My favorite, favorite part of the magazine though is the, I like to call them the Jet Beauties, but basically if you wear the merch and you take a selfie of yourself and you put it on social media, you can be in there magazine i love it first of all this skirt let's get into it i have this one this came in my i want to say february box wore it loved it went back on the website ordered this skirt you can do a wrap skirt you can wear it as a dress like this one like this queen is i love that skirt y'all i might go back and get the other pattern just so the first item i see is actually a brush So let me see, is this like a scrub brush? Yes, this is like for the shower, stuff like that. I, is this or is this for your hair? Let me see. Yeah, girl, this is for your skin, I'm sorry. Cause you know, a lot of kings have that. Y'all seen Poetic Justice? I forgot that um, it was one of the main characters and that fool kept brushing his hair. Even as a little girl, I was like, give me the brush. Put the brush down. I was so sick of the brush. 15 minutes into the video because all he would do the whole daggone time 
was this. And I know men who do that in, in real life. And it's like, that's why you bald now. Because you keep using the daggone brush. But anyway, I love stuff like this. I like, you know, um, I used to have one of them long scrub brushes, like a big old toothbrush, so I can hit my back. I really like this, especially when I am exfoliating. I use a lot of, what is it called? It's treetop something, body scrub, comes in a little jar. I don't, you're not supposed to exfoliate every day, but probably twice a week, I like to get a good exfoliation going especially on my legs. So I like stuff like this. And the next thing I see is a little jar. You see that? It says sweet vanilla whipped soap. I've never heard of whipped soap, y'all. Have y'all heard of whipped soap? Ooh, that smells good. This does not smell like vanilla. First of all, y'all see that? What is that Dairy Queen? If you're new here, I am very goofy and sometimes I just go off on tangents. Just get into it. But um, very thick, very whipped. If you can see like the texture, it kind of looks like whipped cream cheese. Girl, they was not playing. But it does not smell like vanilla. If you guys may or may not uh, know that about me, I do not like sweet scents type stuff, which is why I'm usually team Victoria's Secret versus team Bath and Body Works because Bath and Body Works be like cookies and pies and fruit in this like chill out. But this just smells like a very floral, almost perfume. I don't want to say perfume, cologne type smell. I'm enjoying the smell. I've never um, used a whipped soap before. I've never even heard of that term. I've heard of whipped body butter. You know, I've never heard of whipped soaps. So I'm very interested on how this lathers up because I like a good lather. I want to feel like I am in like a Dove shower commercial when I take my showers. So I will let y'all know what's the tea on this once I use it. I think I'm going to use this tonight when I take my shower. Um, but the smell is delicious regardless. I love the smell. And let's get into this um, silk bag. Let's see what this feels. Ooh, is this a hit, bro? Where is this? It's a pillowcase. And it says, good night, brown sugar. Y'all, those of you that do not know um, and that are, well, it's not really, it is a cultural thing. Black women that wear our hair natural, my hair's not natural now, it's in protective hairstyle, which is box braids, and I'm gonna get this fixed, which is why, okay, tidbit, when I get my hair in braids, y'all, or locks, or whatever, I get done, and you start seeing me wear headbands, that means one of two things. One, the growth of my hair is ridiculous, which is a good thing, but I'm not trying to show you that. Two, I've taken out braids and, like, which is what happened. I took some braids out. But I don't want y'all to see that, so I'm rocking a headband. That's the T on me when I get my hair braided and you start seeing me with the headbands. Because I got to make it last for like another week before I take it out. But anyway, um, when you are a person with natural hair, and this doesn't even have to be for black women, but I just, I know this because I'm black. We use, are you supposed to use satin pillowcases because other material like cotton, polyester, you know, all the chemical based pillowcases type stuff, they will tear out your hair as you sleep on them. With this, it does not. So this is great to use if you don't use a bonnet. I am so sorry for the beeping they're doing construction again. It's like LAX at my apartment building. But anyway, um, if you don't wear a bonnet, you should still wear a bonnet, sis. I'm the type of person I have one of these and I wear that and a bonnet because y'all know bonnet life. You put it on when you go to sleep and you wake up and it's like at the foot of your bed. So this is just great, you know, for insurance. I love the little case also that it comes in. Put your swimsuits and stuff like that in when you travel. But anyway, love this. Next thing I see is a box. Champagne fooders. Boom. I think I got, yeah. The other ones I got were from Lizzie and Liv probably in the January box or maybe it was late last year, but I have some fooders from them. So this will be my second pair of futas. 
And these are in different colors. I think I have pink and blue from the last time. So this is yellow and what is this color? Turquoise, blue greenish turquoise. Now, I am not a fan of these silicone things unless I take the fooder outside, which I don't because I'm like a whole house plant. I don't go outside because everybody has cooties and I'm just scared and I don't want to like knock down your child because they cough on me. So I don't really use these. I take these off. I do keep them if we ever do um, go back outside or go to someone's house and we have a pool. You know, situations like that where you take your glass outside because you don't want to scratch or break them. These are good for everyday in my house use. I take these off. But you can never have enough booters, especially if you like wine and champagne. And I like wine and champagne. Last item is a t-shirt. If you are new to my channel, I have not received a bag or a box, sorry, from Lizzie and Liv that did not have something that you could wear, whether it be a t-shirt, a skirt, something, child. So this is, oh, I love this. This is um, a t-shirt. It's purple. Y'all know I'm a Laker fan. I have my purple. Don't come for me in the comments because I like, like um, Aisha, I know you a Knicks fan, whatever, since we both lost. Do not come for my Lakers in the comments, y'all. I'm going to block everybody that comes for my Lakers. But anyway, this shirt has Nefertiti. Well, it, it's probably not Nefertiti, but it looks like Nefertiti to me because of the head wrap. It could just be another queen because we're all queens. I actually love this shirt. I like purple. I don't love purple to wear, but I rock my team. I like purple. This is a great shirt. And the good thing about these shirts that you get from Lizzie and Liz, even if you're not like a t-shirt person, some of us is did it. We very, you know, you know, want to walk around like everything is a Jay-Z video, which is fine. I am not knocking you, sis, be your fancy free self outside. But when you are in the house, I like rocking t-shirts. You know, this is, first of all, black and so, my other business. But um, I'm the type of person, I have house clothes, if that makes sense. Like, they're not pajamas, but they're not clothes that I would wear outside. Y'all feel me? So, a lot of the t-shirts, um, not just Lizzie and Liv, but just in general, I like to keep t-shirts on deck to wear in the house. You know, we don't have to be going anywhere if... I like this t-shirt, I wear it outside, but I'm just saying. Also... T-shirts are great to have if you work out. I don't spend a lot of money on my workout clothes. I don't knock anyone that does. I just know I don't do that, sis. I will put on some tights and a t-shirt and go get my Power Ranger on. Like, I don't have to have, like, a matching set or, like, a cute little set. Again, not knocking, y'all. I mean, it's cute. Just for me and my budget and my coins, I don't want to put that on workout gear. i rather look, you know... Fancy and cute in public, like with a whole outfit and stuff like that. But girl, throw you on a t-shirt and some tights and get your workout on. Like, who doesn't need t-shirts? So, just to recap what we got in the box, we got our t-shirt, we got our champ. Oh, it's not wine. Girl, I put Kool-Aid in glasses. Anyway, our champagne fooders. We got our good old satin pillowcase. We got our whipped soap which i really am interested in using this i've never heard of whipped soap and we got our good old scrub brush that's our box as i was pulling out items you probably saw the retail value of retail value of the items i pay 49 dollars a month free shipping with lizzie and liz box and i've always used everything that i get in my lizzie and liz boxes and i I think it's worth the money. Uh, most of the time, the box exceeds what I'm paying for the monthly subscription service. So it's a win-win on my, on my end. If you would like to try the Lizzie and Liv box, there is a referral link below. This is not a sponsored video. I get DMs like that all the time. Lizzie and Liv don't pay me. If they want to pay me, I'm going to take their money. But they're not paying me for these videos. I buy this box out of my own pocket and I would tell you something suck if I didn't care for something, if you know, I keep it a buck. If you wanna try it, if you wanna support a black owned business, get the referral link below. I don't get paid when you guys sign up. I do get a small discount on my next box. You'll get a discount on your first box. So it's kind of like win, win. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I truly appreciate it. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you like videos like this. And until next time, y'all, bye.